Just going after the shots were fired at, at uh, Wavell this morning at um, an underground car park business premises on Greenville Road. It occurred just after 8am this morning and police were called to the underground car park of a business um, after a woman and man reported being shot at. The victims um, report being shot at by an unknown person in a dark coloured sedan that, that sped off in a westerly direction um, on Greenhill Road. Thankfully no person was injured in the incident. Eastern District CLB and Crime Scene investigators attended the scene to commence investigations. A Mercedes sedan was towed from the scene and has been forensically examined and that belongs to the victims. Uh, police and fire crews then responded to reports of a car fire in Selby Street, Carolda Park, uh, just before 10 a.m. this morning. It's uh, since been confirmed that that car fire is in fact linked to the, um, the, uh, the shot fire incident at Wavell. A purple uh, coloured Honda Civic sedan was engulfed uh, with flames when the crews arrived and was completely destroyed in the blaze. Uh, de detectives um, are currently investigating uh, both matters and, um, and uh, both are in the early stages of their investigation. Um, it is believed that the shooting incident is not a random incident. So, yes, not a random incident. Uh, detectives are seeking any witnesses, CCTV and dash cam recordings of any motorist who was travelling along Greenwell Road or in Selby Street at the time of these incidents. Uh, any information um, should be provided to Crime Stoppers online or over the phone. So we're seeking um, information from the public investigating these incidents. So that car fire. Yep. So just reinforcing that the shooting incident is not a not a random incident. So how could it be both unknown uh, and not random? So we're following um, uh, the line of inquiry at present, um, and that's what's uh, brought us to that conclusion. How many shots were fired? So uh, there was at least one, uh, possibly two shots for it. And that car that was on fire, was that the car that was seen at the shooting scene? That, that was the vehicle that was seen leaving the sh scene of the shooting um, with the uh, offender drive. So was it just one person in that car or with multiple? As far as I'm aware, there was one person in that vehicle. Have you, uh, what causes you to believe that uh, it's not random? I can't disclose at this time, but um, rest assured um, it was a targeted, um, it wasn't a random type incident. So I want to assure the public that there's no community safety issues. Um, it's clearly targeted. If it's targeted, say? then surely they're known to each other, the, the attacker and the victim. So yeah, I'm not prepared to release information in relation to the line of inquiry. But you are saying that they don't know who shot I'm not prepared to discuss that aspect of the investigation this time. Given the, the timing... Were, in terms of the people who were shot at, are they, what's that line of inquiry? Could they become suspects themselves? Is, is referring to the victims? Yeah, are they no. innocent or are they... No, they are victims of a shooting incident. So the two, the two people who were victims of the shooting incident, they're cooperating with police, they were taking them through the, the scene again today? Yes, they provided us with... Um, information today that we're following up on. And what's the relationship between those two people? Uh, I'm not prepared to disclose information about the victims. Do they work in the building? Uh, I'm not prepared to disclose information. So how many people were shot at? So it's the two people who got out of a vehicle in the underground car park uh, were shot at. And why was their car towed from the scene? Uh, we're uh, forensically examined it including um, three uh, projectiles from the shooting. Does so that car belong to one of the victims or both victims? Um, I'm uncertain to at least one of those people. Given the time and the place and the nature, um, is it possible, given that I don't know how many projectiles you've recovered, um, one has gone through the vehicle that you're talking about, where did the others go and could there possibly have been other people who were at risk during the course of the event? 
is quite possible um, on both counts. Um, uh, but, and that's why we're examining the scene and uh, seeking anyone else that um, might may be in the area that we're not aware of that we'd like to speak to some of the information I have left. That car that was found by a stolen car? Um, the status of the vehicle is uncertain at this time. We're making inquiries in relation to who are in possession of that vehicle. And there's just one just one person who's in the car, just one of them you're looking for or they're multiple? As we're aware of one person at this time. How active is the search for that person? Uh, we're currently um, con conducting a thorough investigation in relation to the matter. So there's uh, uh, detectives um, uh, undertaking investigations at this very moment. Do you still consider uh, that person to be armed and dangerous? Or because it's targeted? So? Uh, we haven't recovered a firearm in this time. What sort of firearm do you believe it was? Just a long gun pistol? Yeah, I can't release that information for investigational purposes. And is there any particular area you are searching for you can have the moment? So, like I said, I'm not prepared to discuss the discussion any further. Uh, the information I've given you is what um, uh, we sure of and we'd like to release to the public, uh, particularly to reassure them that no one is at risk and to reassure them that um, a comprehensive investigation is underway. What gender is the suspect? What gender is the suspect? Um, I can't really say that for the moment. So the arc of the fire was that towards, up the, up the ramp towards Green Hill Road where it was peak hour traffic. Is that, because there was a, a line, a search line search across Green Hill Road that suggests that that was a possible path for projectiles? Yes, quite likely. And the concerning thing is, is peak hour traffic, there's a school nearby, and there's other businesses that are opening for business at that time, and potentially customers, people walking, exercising. Um, that is the concerning thing, just on the outskirts of the city. Are the victims in the car when they were shot at? They just um, exited from the vehicle. So Last they, questions, too, please. Had they both pulled into that car park simultaneously? Was the victims being, were the victims being followed? Okay, so that's an aspect of the investigation that um, I don't want to release at this time for investigational purposes. Can I, can I ask on a separate topic, um, since we're running out of time, the arson attack in North Adelaide, um, what are the circumstances relating to that and are there any consideration of outlaw motorcycle gang links or possible organised crime? Okay, so also that investigation is in its infancy. Um, it's been... Um, treated as a suspicious fire, suspicious circumstances. Uh, the matter of um, who is responsible for that fire um, and whether they're linked to any um, motorcycle gangs um, is uncertain at this time. But we can't d discount that, um, but we, I can't confirm that either. Now, there are no links between that one and the Brendan Road one? No, absolutely no known links. Thank you. Is there a motive for the shooting? Is there a motive for the shooting? Um, again, it's, it's, that's aspect, there are aspects of the investigation that um, we're looking at at the moment, so I don't want to preempt what we're going to find. Cool, thanks guys. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you.